Hey, good day, good day, everybody. Welcome to my Windows system here, which I rarely do videos on. If you know my attitude towards Windows, you know it by now. Anyways, uh, in here on the blog, quantlabs.net slash blog, go to the tutorial, do a search up here for the uh, crypto trading quant analytics tutorials. In there, I have a video on the dashboard tour when you sign up. Obviously, you have to be a paying member. Um, and in there, I've got some software you can download, which I'm going to show you. This is how to use it, okay? Right here in this video here under Quick Trading Signal Client Install and Usage Demo. So I've got already a Mac version, how to use that. And then here we have um, the uh, how, how, how to use this. So what I'm going to show you now is how to work, uh, use it with Windows. So when you sign up, uh, you should automatically um, able to access on the quantlabs.net slash academy. As a paying customer, you log in. You will be, it should be taken to a signals dashboard. If not, just come under quant uh, analytics dashboard, signals dashboard. And in there, there's a section called software download. And all you gotta do is uh, click that guy and in there, there's two versions to download, the Mac and then this other one for Windows. Now, one thing I want you to take away is this Windows 10, and it's pretty straightforward. It's a lot easier, actually, surprisingly, than Mac. The other thing is, people might go, was there a Mac ver or a Linux version? Yeah, I could do it, but then I'd have to support 100 different uh, versions of Linux for each distribution, like Red Hat, Ubuntu, Fedora, Manjaro and whatever else is out there. So I don't want to get into that. I just want to focus on two versions, Windows and, and Mac. So when you come in here, uh, just click on this crypto bot email client windows. And what that will do is here I'm using Firefox. You can save it in, I guess it's Explorer here. Um, and then here it is. So. As I've explained before, there's two files in there. Uh, for Windows, there's the application, or known as the EXE, or executable. And here is the uh, config file that I have uh, introduced. And uh, this is pretty well straightforward. It's just where you gotta configure your email, and once you get your Binance keys, again, that is all explained in that tutorial video at the beginning here uh, on the blog. Um, and then all you gotta do, as I said, is um, kind of understand that and understand that the the, the configure bot it's an INI file uh, and uh, here's the executable so they both have to be in the same folder or directory I just double click on the application or the exe called crypto uh, crypto uh, bot email let's see if it runs uh, just run it and it should bring up the interface that I show. So we run it. Okay, so it's running now and it's, it's, it's automatically opening up the command prompt for you. And then here, as I've shown before in that tutorial of, uh, page, you can easily uh, load up all the configuration file. If we do that again. Okay, run. Oh, uh, duh! Helps to extract this, don't it? Um, let me see here. So we have to extract all. Yes. Okay. And there we go. So if we go in, this should run. Yes. Okay. So it's a zip file. Um, and running it should take place. Here we go. So there, it gets all the information as I've shown before, the fields for the configuration file. Uh, and then you can do all this fun stuff. And then after that, don't forget you need to configure that file to all your settings for both the email and the Binance um, Exchange API keys and just do a launch bot. And then you'll see that message here. It's now ready to receive uh, signals from my service when they get generated. And that's pretty well it. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.